Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Amor, the instructional resource teacher here at Mount Hebb Nanjimo Elementary School. And I am today coming to you to read to you. I'm not doing math, but I'm actually going to be supporting reading. And today I'm going to be reading a chapter out of our one book, One Mount Hope book. And that chapter I'm going to be reading is on page 42. It is called Geronimo Stilton Stinks. So I will give you a second to join me there. Geronimo Stilton Stinks. All of the chefs came out of their rooms at the same time. Trap was the only one accompanied by a victim, or rather a taster. I mean, an assistant? Which is to say me. We all headed to the kitchen, which was a carnivorous room decorated with a collection of antique copper pots. A contest official stepped forward, took an enormous ladle, and banged it on the enormous pot. Ding! The super stuff contest has begun, he cried. Every chef began to cook immediately, but Trap pulled out a screen from his trunk and put it in front of his stove. You, he ordered, victim, I mean, taster, I mean, assistant, stand in front of the screen and make sure no spies get to me. Got it? My recipes are top secret, understand? Then he pulled the red metal suitcase behind the screen where it was out of sight. The other chefs began to grumble. It's not fair. Contestant Chef 117 is cheating. An official appeared at our station, followed by a mouse pushing a cart with a gigantic book on top. The book was called The Rules of Super Chef Contest. All right, all right, he cried out, silencing the contestants. Let's take a look. He poured over the rules silently for a long time. Then he closed the book with a decisive bang. There is no such rule that prohibits a contestant from putting a screen in front of her or her cooking station, he declared. Trap peeked out from behind the screen and stuck his tongue out at everyone. I turned bright red from the tip of my tail to the end of my whiskers. Why? Oh, why did my cousin have to be so embarrassing? Ahem, uh, excuse us, I told the other contestants sheepishly. My cousin is er, very nervous because of the tension of the competition. The other chefs didn't buy it. They began to throw cabbage heads and rotten eggs at me. To save myself, I hid in a garbage can. And I reemerged at the end of the day's competition. Unfortunately for me, I was greeted by the flashing cameras of all the photographers covering the competition. And by then, I smelled like a sewer in hot, sticky month of August. Ugh. I imagine the headlines of the newspapers the next day. Geronimo Stilton stinks. Don't worry, Trap said. I'll take care of it. Trap pulled me behind the screen. He shoved me into a large pot. He hosed me down with a bottle of water. He dried me off with a dish rag. He combed my fur with a fork. Finally, he greased my whiskers with olive oil, and he dressed me as a waiter and pushed me out from behind the screen. Now, Go serve my dishes with class, understand? He squeaked. We must win. And on these last two pages, I'm not going to read it to you, but there's a little comic almost that goes along with what I already read. So I encourage you to keep reading. I hope you enjoyed my chapter, and thanks for having me. Bye, guys.